In this video I'm going to show you how the resonant frequency can be used for the Tesla coils. Over here we have the first coil that's going to be our transmitter of the frequency signal. Uh, this is the connection from the plus from the output from the signal, signal generator. And over here we have the ground connection. Uh, both are connect connected uh, to the ground of the si um, signal generator. And this one is going outside to the earth. Then we have the second coil. And this coil is connected to our uh, oscilloscope. Um, and so we can measure the output. So we are going to place this one on top of the other. And we're gonna control. First we're gonna go off limit so we can see what's happening when we go to the resonant frequency. So at the moment um, we have 190 kilohertz and we are going to the screen of the oscilloscope. Now we're going to higher uh, the frequency and you will see that uh, sinus is starting to appear. Now we at 350 kilohertz, 360 and 370 and you see a nice uh, sine wave. Um, you th there is no load on the coil. If I go higher you will see that the sinus will lower. So that's why we need the resonance frequency for. Uh, it must also be noted that the transmitter coil is not closed. So this means this uh, it just puts the voltage on but there's no current flowing in this coil. So uh, I'm going to make some adjustments and then you can see that I can lit up a LED even though if the coil underneath is open. So I connected the LED and you will see the sine wave is much less in amplitude. But the LED is on. Now if we change the resonant frequency you can see that the LED will go off. I can try if I can see them both at the same time. Now it's off and we are at 220 kilohertz. So we go back to 370. So, so as you can see, that's why I need the resonant frequency for. Uh, you will see this uh, Tesla coils are wound on old vinyl uh, records to keep them in form. And the other, the sender Tesla coil is uh, open. So there is no current flowing, uh, just the voltage from the signal generator. Uh, signal is, is on there. So, thank you for watching and now you know why I need the resonant frequency for.